It's the early days of August and I've spent the last few months harvesting and drying some of my florals from the garden in hopes to have enough to make my very first mixed dried floral wreath. I've been harvesting status, amaranth, crispidia, nigella, and yarrow, all from the garden to just name a few. What I didn't anticipate is just how many dried flowers I would need to complete my wreath. So I figured now would be a perfect time to get a jump start on some of my fall preparations to gauge how much more I will need to harvest and dry over the next coming weeks to finish this project. Now, while I don't want to rush the seasons, I absolutely love everything about fall and the seasonal changes here in Maine. I usually find as one season begins to wind down, my mind, body, and spirit are eager for the changing of the air and sun. A chance to reset before settling in. As I wait to finish harvesting and drying the rest of my florals for the wreath, I'm back out in the garden today as I must get to harvesting my potatoes. We've had quite a bit of rain lately and I don't want to let them sit too long in their grow bags before they all become rotten.
This is my first time growing potatoes in a grow bag, so I'm eager to see what we get for a harvest. I'm a little surprised at how quickly this garden is beginning to show that she's tired this year. I almost feel as though this summer happened in the blink of an eye and it wasn't too long ago when everything was just in its peak. But now I must tend to the garden chores of pruning leggy plants or clearing out plants like this borage that have now gone past. While it is bittersweet, I need to make room for the pumpkins that are quickly growing and will soon take over this entire side garden. One thing this garden does for sure is she keeps me on my toes. In a few weeks now and the onions are finally dried and ready to be trimmed and put into storage for the winter. I simply just take my pruning shears and snip off the dried roots and the dried stalks. These will then be stored in my basement in this crate covered, likely with some breathable fabric like burlap until I need to use them during the winter. So while I finish prepping my onions for storage and drying out my newly harvested potatoes, I will continue to pause and take notice of all that is still blooming around me.